Good morning today. We are going to start our reading today. So we're going to start off talking about the theme of this unit. So we started a new unit today. So I'm going to open up the book. And we see unit eight from here to there. So we're going to learn about things that help us get from here to there. The big idea, where can you go that is near and far? Jickety can, the train goes running along the line. Jickety can, jickety can. I wish it were mine, I wish it were mine. Jickety can, jickety can. Jickety, jickety, jickety can. So, this train is taking people near and far from here to there. That is our theme of Unit 8. Something else that can take us somewhere is, let's see if you can figure it out. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What took someone? A boat. That is right. Help me sing. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. So today they want us to ask, how did you get to school? I actually went into school and then came back. Did anyone go to get their breakfast? Great to get your breakfast and your lunch. You can walk or ride in a car to go get breakfast and lunch. The different things that we do to get from here to there, what we use is called transportation. We're now going to talk about what week one's essential question and theme is. So, our weekly concept is on the move. So we're going to talk about things on the move. So I'm going to go ahead and write that on top. On the move. We're going to talk about things that are on the move. Our essential question, what we want to be able to answer when we are done is, what can help you go from here to there? And I want you to think about it. What can help you get from here to there? What can help you get from here to there? See, I think we could use our a bike. Gates, our feet, and vehicles. Nice job. And I bet you got the bike because it's on this picture. How does this child move from place to face? And we all guessed it was on her bicycle. Nice job. I'm going to talk about two of our vocabulary words for this week. The first one is transportation. Transportation. Many people use a city bus to transport to and from work. Transportation is the way we move from one place to another. So what do we use most? Most of us probably use our cars, buses, or we walk. Those are our transportations. This bus is a type of transportation. Our next word is vehicle. Vehicle is a car or truck. It's an object used to move things or people from place to place. Two types of vehicles are trucks and cars. And I love my truck, but I'm glad I have my car. So our first vocabulary words are transportation and vehicle. All right, we are now gonna read our story And it's called When Daddy's Truck Picks Me Up. When 
Daddy's truck picks me up. Here's our good table of contents. It's a fiction. Fiction means not real good. When Daddy's truck picks me up. Daddy and me. Me and my Daddy's truck. Ooh, I think he likes Daddy's truck. Rig of the year. So it's a big truck. And look, he even has a toy of his dad's truck. It's Daddy's turn to pick me up. I get up fast today. Daddy drives a tanker truck. He comes a long, long way. I'll see you soon as he's leaving for school. I love to ride in Daddy's truck. He picks me up from school. Then I have Daddy to myself. We think that's so cool. So if he's cool, it, thinks it's cool, do you think he's excited that Daddy's coming? I definitely think he's glad Daddy's coming to school to pick him up. He gets all ready. My Daddy's picking me up today. I'll wave Mom a big goodbye. I just can't wait, just can't wait. Daddy's coming, that's why. So we have the boy in the story. We have his dad, good, and now his mom is in the story and she says, love you. And where's the little boy up to? School, good job. I'm on my way, heading down the highway with his engine thrump, thumping, roaring, rumbling, roaring, my daddy's coming. When it's daddy's turn to pick me up, I make the day go zoom. I drive my big red tanker truck. It's my time with daddy soon. So, we're watching daddy's truck drive down the road. So I'm predicting he's gonna pick him up from school because the little boy's at school. Do you think we're right? Let's watch for our prediction to see if we're right that dad's gonna pick him up from school. Thundering through the tunnel, Headlights help to see. Bursting out the other end, Daddy's coming for me. He's in a big tunnel under that mountain. That seems kind of scary. Crawling through my tunnel, boring like a mole, going dark and deeper into the big, big hole. So he's acting just like he's his dad, right? He's got his tanker truck. Dad's tanker truck's going through the tunnel, and now he's going to crawl through the tunnel two. Zooming zigzag down the hill, singing our favorite tune, rocking, rolling, roaring, daddy will be here soon. I'm waiting and waiting so hard. I hum our favorite song, humming through my sandwich. Daddy, don't be long. I think he's getting impatient. He wants daddy to be there right now. Do you ever feel that way when you're waiting for mom and dad to get home? Yeah. Even grandma, huh? Sometimes we get to wait for grandma. Truck stop. Filling up his fuel tank. Checking the tanker's load. Getting something just for me. Then daddy's back on the road. When daddy picks me up, I paint his smile. Big as can be. It bursting off the paper the way dad smiles at me. I think this little boy definitely loves his dad. He's painting now and he's just waiting for dad to come, right? Oops. Shifting down to first gear, talking that, taking that bridge real slow, crawling like a giant snail, still a way to go. It's taking dad all school time to get to him. School's getting out now. The grown-ups are on time. They wave and kiss and pick up their kids. All the daddies. Where's mine? He sees everyone else's daddy, but he's not seeing his daddy yet. He's getting worried. Uh-oh. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. There he is. Stuck in heavy traffic. Engines running hot. Grinding down. Breaking hard. Slowing to a stop. Oh no. 
What did Dad say? Oh no, he knows he's gonna be late. I'm making Daddy hurry up. Come on, Dad, don't be slow. I'm waiting hard, I want you now. I really need us to go. He's waiting, oh look, the teacher's helping him. Sometimes that happens. When is Daddy coming? And the teacher says, soon. Let's see what happens. When? You think Dad's gonna get there? It's already 3.20. Find out what happens. Screech! Made it! He's in front of the school. I don't know if you can see it, but the little boy's cheering in the window. He's so, so happy. Here I am! Daddy! Totally excited. When Daddy picks me up, he swings me round and round. And it's me and Daddy. Daddy and me! Now we are together. We won't wait one more minute. Daddy's truck takes off so fast with me and Daddy in it. Now they're going through the town. <gasps> Did you peek? You guys know better than peek. Can't believe you'd sit and peek at us. All right, now we're gonna talk about the letters we're gonna do this week. We have two letters. Let's see if you can guess the first one. Here comes our poem. Everybody jump. Jenny likes to jump, jump, jump. Jenny likes to jump, jump, jump. Johnny likes to jump, jump. Johnny likes to jump, jump. Everybody jump, jump, jump. Everybody jump. Yeah. J, you are right. Our first letter this week is the letter J. J, jump, J, J, J. Our next letter today, you ready for this poem? All right, oh, we gotta write. We're learning about the letter J. Here comes another poem. The queen is taking a walk. The queen is taking a walk. Everybody get in line. The queen is taking a walk. The queen is taking a nap. The queen is taking a... <laughs> oh, sorry, nap. Everybody be quiet because the queen is taking a nap. The queen is combing her hair. The queen is combing her hair. Everybody listen up. It's what the queen will tell. Mm -hmm. Q, you're right. Our next letter we're learning this week is queen. Is the letter Q, right? Which has a queen. Q, queen. Queen likes it quiet when she takes her nap. Here we go. Capital Q, lowercase Q. All right. If you came and got your packets this week, you have two green books. For the parents, you'll know it's the green book that has the straight lines that they go ahead and trace. And we're gonna do the J page. We do the capital J, straight down, curve up, straight across, and then we'll do the lowercase j that goes below with a dot. Straight down, curve around, dot. J, 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 We have a jellyfish. Now to let you know, only Miss Draney's class has this book. Jet, J-E-T-N, jug. Make sure you color the pictures nicely. And we'll be getting you an email to let you know when all this is due.
All right, after you've finished your J's, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about our side words for this week. So, I'm hoping you can see these. I'll hold them closer. See, good. My, we, he, I, with, for, is, she, like, of, they, little, have, and, was, go, you, a, want, said, are, to, can, do, the, oops, hear, me. Did anyone hear the new sight words? The first one is here. A school bus takes you from here to there. Here comes the bus. What's the word? Here. Put your fingers in the air. Here. H E R E spells here. And erase here. And instead of me putting on the air, I'm going to write it. H E R E spells here. The bus is where we are. The bus is here. Our first vocabulary word, sight word is here. I'm going to write here on the top of our board. Here. Our next sight word this week is me. A jet will take me home. Hope a lot of jets are bringing people home right now. Hope they get here soon. Let's write the word me in the air. Me, M-E, here we go. M, E spells me, one more time. M, E spells me. Our next sight word this week is me. The jet is taking me on vacation. I don't think any of us will be going on too many vacations soon. But we can look forward to maybe one day we all can take a vacation on a jet. It will take me and you on a vacation. Me is spelt M E. Now my class has a pink book. It's called a sight word book. There's two of them also. This has only poems in it. So always, always write your name. Good job. And our first, the word we're going to do today is here. Will they come here? Is it here? Or there. They said to meet here. Good job. We come here every summer. They will come here too. Draw a picture of you here. So draw a picture of you at your house. The word is here. Let's see how many times you're going to write it. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a picture of you here where you're getting your lessons. All right. That is to the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for being here. We will talk again soon. Bye-bye.